So in this video, I'm going to share with you a very cool website that has tens of thousands of free public domain vector graphics that you can use to improve your t-shirt designs, to save time while designing, and to overall increase your sales. So the website in question is publicdomainvectors.org. And I have mentioned this website a few times in the past, but I've never actually gone over it and shown you in more detail why this website is so powerful, especially for beginners which are starting out with print on demand or graphic design and who don't have the money to invest in something like Creative Fabrica or Vexels. And just to reassure you, if we click onto this public domain tab up here, it tells you that you can copy, modify, distribute, and perform the work even for commercial purposes without asking. So everything on this website is public domain, meaning that it literally belongs to you. You're a member of the public, you can use this as if you created it yourself and just, you can literally take anything on the site and sell it as it is. You don't even have to give credit to public domain vectors. And that's obviously a really cool thing because a lot of the times when you get free stuff, you have to still modify it and make it its own um, before you can actually resell sell it. That's not the case with this website and it has lots of cool categories that are really useful for print on demand. The first one being animals. We know animals is a very popular topic that sells well all year round, big evergreen niches within this and there's a lot of really cool cartoon vectors on this website for all sorts of different animals. There's even different dog breeds, could be very useful to niche down within the dog niche for example. Tons of other animals as well that might be a bit more niche with less competition. You've got squirrels, different birds, fish, quite a few elephants in here and the coolest thing about these are they're not actual like images, they're not PNGs, they're vectors. So if you have a software that can edit vectors, you can change these around very easily and for example put a vintage sunset um, behind these animal silhouettes or animal illustrations and that way you can customize them a bit further and make them suit your niche better. There isn't just cartoon animals either so you get these line art ones as well or the silhouettes like this horse right here. The cartoon ones obviously would sell better for sort of children based designs or uh, designs aimed at children but for example if we type in cats right here or cat silhouette and we actually get a, a lot of really cool silhouettes like this one up here or what else have we got this one this one the one stretching looks really nice tons of cool silhouettes that you could use um, in cat themed designs you use them against a vintage sunset or just on their own to decorate your text there's also these polygon style designs which look really cool and um, sort of provide some variety in terms of t-shirt designs because you don't see them too often and you also get paw prints which work really well as decorative items and this is just what comes up when you search for cats. So that gives you a bit of an idea of what you can do in terms of animals with this website. But if we carry on, another good category is backgrounds because there's actually some cool things in here like these little brush strokes which could use as decorative items once again in your t-shirt designs. So you could overlay some text onto these and uh, well make your design look a bit more unique that way. You then get different patterns in this category which you could use as an overlay for some of your text designs for example. So this one I could imagine some text being in front of this and then applying this texture onto the text or applying this pinky pattern onto the text which could look really cool and make your text stand out well. So there's another idea to um, utilize this website in terms of the background section. You also get flags which we know for sports events do really well. I would combine them with some text to try out different variations rather than just using a flag but if there's say a, a football World Cup or this the Olympics on usually people are looking to represent their countries so having a flag themed design um, for different countries can do really well in those sort of periods and there's just an abundance here of different countries if you hover over you can always see which actual country these flags are from in case you don't know yourself <laughs> because there is a lot of countries out there and yeah so that's really cool and you don't just get these uh, sort of cartoony ones with the highlights you can also get packs like this which is really cool so if We've got Sweden flags with different actual elements like if we've got an eagle there, the very commonly known fist style, then a brain. I'm not sure why someone would want that but as you can see really cool variety on this website so you can find a style that suits you. Another thing I remembered then in terms of flags is if you type in things into the search bar so I just typed in pride you also get really cool results sometimes like there's lots of designs right here sort of pre-made with the pride flag overlaid even one 
for uh, handicapped people here, which looks pretty cool. The one with the fists again looks quite cool. And you can use these elements, just add a bit of text to them and create some really nice designs very quickly that way, which as a beginner can be really hard. Sometimes you struggle to get going and sort of match the, the quality standard of some of the other sellers out there. So this site can really help you out. Another good topic is food and drink. Obviously something that people can be very passionate about. So there's different coffee illustrations. Coffee is a massive topic. Then you get alcohol ones, different specific food items like croissants, cakes, a lot of bakery goods for sure. But yeah, say you wanted to enter a specific food niche like pizza, bacon or tacos, then you can definitely have a look through here. Scroll through, you can either get inspiration by what's on offer or you can just type anything into the search bar up here and say you wanted to design tacos then you just type that in right here. There's actually not a lot coming back. If you just type in taco, you get a bit more variety, but that's obviously one of the downsides of these free sites. Sometimes there's not really many results, but some are better than none. So um, I think these graphics can still be really useful in a taco t-shirt design. Moving on, we've got nature, which obviously once again is a massive topic in print on demand. There's lots of people that like camping, like this graphic right here. The tent could be suitable. And again, you could cut out the tent from the SVG file and then adjust the design that way and make it suit maybe the print on demand style a bit better, having a sunset behind it or just anything else that you can think of. We've got gardening elements right here. And then there's lots of mountain illustrations, which I think would be ideal for sort of hiking and nature lover based designs. This mountain range right here with the trees, you could color that in with different sort of retro style colors that could make for a very cool design. One thing to definitely look out for is this section right here. So these graphics are not included on public domain vectors. This right here is just an ad placed by Shutterstock. They license graphics, so there you actually have to pay. Don't accidentally click on these and try and use them because they are paid for. And then if you scroll down, you get related images by public domain vectors.org. And once again, an ad space by Shutterstock. So do watch out what you click on. Here's another variation of that mountain design with different color schemes. That's pretty cool as well. Another thing I can recommend is looking for instrument. If you type that into the search bar, you get back some cool results of different guitars. Playing the guitar is a big hobby that people love. There's some cool illustrations there. Scrolling down, you also get some more silhouette style designs. So this harp looks pretty good. Some more guitar silhouettes, lots of options in terms of instruments as well, but also more active sport-based designs or hobbies can be created with this website. So I just typed in cycling and we get some really cool cyclist silhouettes, which I've used in the past as well. I think that's just perfect. If you're trying to create, for example, a cycling design, design for dads or this one right here this looks a bit more like a mountain bike maybe so you could use that for the mountain biking sub niche of the overall cycling niche so another cool example of a very very cool high quality vector on this website that could be very useful for your t-shirt designs and yeah I think you get the gist definitely a very cool website that you should be bookmarking and at least check back on if you struggle a bit with your designs I've used it a lot in the past so yeah not just for beginners even intermediate or of expert print and demand sellers can utilize this site and find some good graphics to use in their designs. So now that you've got an abundance of graphics to work with, what's going to help you out even more is knowing some really easy to create t-shirt designs that actually sell. And that's exactly what I show you in this video right here. So you should probably watch that next.